someone call me a hero for that. You're a hero. Thank you. Thank you. Good. Yeah. All right. Next chapter. <laughs> All right. Chapter three. Introducing the second act. Mm -hmm. uh, they came here a few months ago and were awesome. Since then. They've uh, been destroyed to yeah. the ground, and now they rise again at <laughs> uh, a different name. They were once High Five Revival, but now, as we high five on stage, this team will be revived. <laughs> we'll be a yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's, it's, it's part of it, yeah, yeah. textbook. All right, they are now revived as Big <laughs> Donut Energy! Too, but then we changed the names, so there's no more high fives from us. Hi, everybody. Hi. Uh, let's give it up for Yes Man. Woo! And the squirts for having us. You are awesome as well. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's Becca, that's Adam, that's Tommy. I'm Steve. We are Big Donut Energy. <laughs> yeah. Big Donut. That's a small donut. That's like a very small donut. So, um, I'm the guy who fucked up the theme of... This is Steve, Steve by Steve. the way. This is Steve. Hi. That's Tommy. That's Steve. Adam. And Becca. Alright, hey, Steve, you had something to add. Let's just introduce each other for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the entire set. Yeah. Um, I fucked up the theme of teams with coordinated outfits tonight. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> because he did not want to do laundry. <laughs> Or because I love Sumatran tigers that much. So we know it. No, there's less than like 300 of them in the wild, so stop wow. using palm oil. Yeah. Um, just a little PSA before we get into some funny stuff. Um, and uh, the only thing rarer than a Sumatran tiger is this set we're about to perform for you because it's the first, last, and only time you'll ever see it because this is improv. Hey! And as most improv sets go, we need a little suggestion. For this set, we need a specific type of suggestion. It sounds complicated, but it's not. Just listen really closely. Uh, we need a non-geographical location that is bigger than this theater but smaller than a shopping mall. And What's that? A, a yacht. A, a, well, uh, multiple spaces, rooms. Uh, the Flintstones house. <laughs> the Flintstones house. <laughs> yeah, multiple rooms. Yeah. Yeah. Yacht. Right. Cathedral. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. All right. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> the Flintstones. The Flintstones. The Flintstones. And they own a yacht. The Flintstones own a yacht. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Fred. Oh, I've got a little bit of rumbling in my company. <laughs> oh. 
I mean, technically, we're, we're cavemen. We're supposed to just, you know, you know, do as the cavemen do. Yeah, do as cavemen do. Yeah. Hey, boy. Yeah. <laughs> You scared him away, yo! Oh, Fred, I'm sorry! Listen, listen. We, we don't need Dino, alright? It's just, it's just you and me here. And the wives! And the wives! And the children! And the pets! And my boss! <laughs> Let's just sit down and enjoy! Oh, okay! Uh, no sir. Uh, sorry. I, I'm just, I'm more familiar with the Jetsons. What's, what's the Flintstones equivalent of Mr. Sprocket? <laughs> no, I can't say I've seen the Jetsons. What do they The Mr. boss! <laughs> the boss, you're the Flintstones boss. <laughs> you know, I, I haven't seen the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Johnstone. Mr. Johnstone, that's me. That's your name. That's me, that's Hi. my name. Time travel is so hard. Crazy, what year is it? <laughs> I don't know, there's like dinosaurs and rock stuff around. Cool. Nice, nice yacht. <laughs> you must Thank be you. rich. I don't know what you're a boss of, but you're a boss of something. Wow, a dino fish. <laughs> it's a coelacanth. <laughs> we still have those in 2018, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, so it is 2018. No, that's where I'm from. Oh, you're one of those times. Where are you where you're from? From Flintstone land. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess the cartoon I grew up with probably wasn't very accurate to like the actual Flintstones who lived. <laughs> Cartoon from the early 60s. <laughs> <laughs> Just to okay. okay, there was Fred and there was Marnie. Okay. And then there was what their wives, Betty and Wilma. And Betty's actually a term that people say, she's a hot Betty. Because Barney and Fred were not very attractive, but their wives were smoking hot. <laughs> <laughs> that term actually comes from? Yeah. Yeah. So they had a dog named Bam Bam. Wait, was and it a dog or an actual dinosaur? It was a dinosaur, but it was treated <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> and they had a car that had two big stones. Oh, because they had no yeah, combustion they, engine, I thought. Well, because they had two technical. I thought the well, dinosaur pulled the car, that's why I came out and did that. Well, <laughs> they, 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 in order to have fossil fuels, you need to have fossils. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. Roulette. <laughs> <laughs> what do 
which one's better for people who just time traveled here and don't know the rules? Craps. <laughs> Is that the one where they're yelling and throwing a stick around? Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, yeah, that looks cool. I, you know I like yelling! Yeah, you're a big yeller. Yeah! We'll, we'll be over there! Come on, come on, let's go! Okay. <laughs> What's up? How you doing, Jeff? You see those two clowns? I literally have no idea who they are. Yeah, animal clowns, <laughs> no fucking shoes. Crazy, is there another convention in here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they yeah. like flat earthers. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah, they were vaping, I'm pretty sure of it. Yes. Yeah, a lot of flat earthers over here at this yeah. casino. That's why they keep telling me my math is wrong when I'm just trying to count to 21. <laughs> well, that's why I just use the ball. I can't count at all. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is a lot easier. The black text is uh, pretty good. You can count to what, 15? Yeah. Come on. Just light it on 15. Hi, sorry. We just needed to sort something out. <laughs> I thought he was Fred from Scooby Doo because he called me Velma, but he's actually. Fred from the Flintstones, because he called me Wilma. Yes! Yeah. So now we're ready to gamble. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Rock Vegas. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to put 30 fossils on black. Am I doing it right? Yeah. Black's right there. Red's right there. Black. Hey. All right. 30 fossils on black. All hey, right. listen. You know, I, to get all, as much money as possible, I'm going to put all my 30 fossils on red. Fred, did you spend time in Staten Island? <laughs> I, yes. And it is on red. Hey, all right, hey, how you doing? All right, we, we just made a lot of money. Cool, right. buy me drinks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the weirdest hour of Cartoon Network ever. <laughs> It makes no sense to me, and I have no idea what's going on. I, I don't remember uh, Hanna Barbera cartoons getting meta. <laughs> me either. Just having, having uh, you know, like crossover episodes. Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah crossover Scooby episodes. Who we do in the Globetrotters? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. There was a there was a TV show dedicated to just that. <laughs> Scooby Doo and the Glo Globetrotters. Yeah. I. You know, I bet the Jetsons had a crossover with the Flintstones. Yeah, I'm sure they did. <laughs> Thank you, TV. Thank you. See, look, the TV is listening to us. Yeah, wow. Just, it's, it's, it's as if the characters don't know who they are. <laughs> Mind blowing. I, I'm, I'm. They just assume the audience wouldn't figure it out. <laughs> Maybe, maybe this was like a writer strike back in the day. And they just hired a bunch of new people, and they just came up with whatever. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fuck it all up. We're gonna take that character from there, put that there, pick that character there, and we're gonna like throw them all in a casino. Um, yeah, to just teach kids the early joys of gambling right now. You know, like just... Hey. Oh, hey, Smith. I just wanted to make sure before you put this on air that there was a sufficient amount of misogyny in <laughs> Oh, plenty of misogyny. It's like you can't get through a whole sentence without getting to some misogyny. Like women, hate... are, women are lower than men. <laughs> <laughs> the women aren't working, right? No. no. They're just secretaries. Just there to smile and look pretty. All right. And there's going to be lots of references to fossil fuels too, right? <laughs> yes, and the, the joys of fossil fuel and how this really enhances our economy and does nothing bad for the planet. Perfect. I'll go tell Sunoco. Keep up the good work. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to put all these characters together. We're going to have a lot of uh, misogyny and fossil fuels talk. Hey, uh, I just, uh, I wanted to make sure that you, uh, you put in the sunscreen in at least one of these fucking guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to push that shit. We can't push cigarettes anymore. <laughs> so we can have skin yeah. cancer. You don't have to bring yeah. it up every fucking day. This shit meeting. is dangerous. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what these stupid little creatures are talking about. But just make sure you put some fucking sunscreen in this. <laughs> Jeremy, have a seat. We need to talk about your performance. All right. Jesus. 
You know it's the 60s and TV is for selling stuff that's bad for kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's all this sunscreen talk? <laughs> well, I mean, we've already hit a bunch of like misogyny and we say yes. bigoted stuff and racism and all that yes. shit. That's all really hunky dory. Yes, yeah, cigarettes, alcohol. Oh yeah, we gotta fuels. push as much of this terrible shit as we can. We're white males. We're supposed to. <laughs> that's right. We dominate Absolutely. everything. Absolutely. So King what, so what is it with this sunscreen thing then? You like, you know, that's just a fancy word for a lotion. At the end of the day. <laughs> it is a lotion. It's a lotion. It doesn't really work. It does. Work. It works very well. Yeah. Yeah. Prove it. <laughs> wow! I look great. You look fantastic. I just put a layer of sunscreen on, and yeah. it's like I, I'm thinner. Yeah. Shorter. Yeah. Well, do you remember last year when I burnt to a crisp and I went to the hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Mom, she just died in the hospital from tanning. That's what I'm saying. This sunscreen stuff really works. It's really saving my life. You look so good. So we can't put it in the pictures. Why? We have to put it in the pictures, though, Billy. If we don't, the message won't get out. That's the point! We're not supposed to tell people it's good. <laughs> Hi ladies, get in here. It's a new day at Hanna-Barbera. We're turning a brand new leaf. Everything's hunky-dory now, all right? We need glitter, we need rainbows, we need empowered women, okay? Excellent. Yes. We need to write Hannah and Barbera, they're both dead. It's gonna probably roll it in there, over in their graves, but do I care? Do we care? Uh, no. Does a man care? I knew a Hannah. She was really pretty. <laughs> I just I don't I don't know if I'm allowed to have an opinion on this, so I just wanted to see if it was okay uh, uh, if a man could uh, make my opinion for me. Um. Oh, we need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything okay? Do you have a boyfriend or something? <laughs> no. Was it that guy? Chad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chad, yeah. He's a real, he's just a big bro, huh? He's, he's real fratty. He, uh, he, he likes to fraternize with all the other boys. Well, dump him! <laughs> just, just give up on my chatty buddy? Yeah. <laughs> You need a man who knows his place. <laughs> Equal. <laughs> what are these words coming out of your mouth? I, I, I've never... You're all on board with this? Wake up, Stacy! It's the 60s, not the 20s! <laughs> <laughs> You're right! I don't need Chad. I don't, I don't need this bra. That's right. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> That's a very expensive. Am I doing it right? <laughs> Perfect. Uh, you're right. Well, at Heather Barbera, we, we should be equal. Rainbows and, and flowers. Now you're getting it. Okay. We do the same work as men. Why shouldn't we get paid the same? You're right. I work my tuckus off. <laughs> we have the babies. But they don't do shit. They complain when they're sick. We <laughs> don't like those guys. Equal fucking pay. Equal fucking pay. Equal fucking pay. Equal fucking pay.